Joe Ferdinand, everybody. Your next comic coming to stage. He's a local favorite, Jonathan Craig. Thank you. Keep it going for Joe. A lot of people came out to see him tonight. And I know how that is. Because I, too, have made terrible decisions. <laughs> For instance, uh, I went to community college. Sure, it's like regular college, and the way that food stamps are like money. <laughs> kind of bored earlier today. I had a hard time filling the gap with no football, you know, because I love the NFL. It's the only place I know where you can start the season a rapist and finish the season a rapist. <laughs> Most places don't allow that. <laughs> it was a great Super Bowl though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I heard over a million women have already pre-ordered a copy so that they can uh, watch the video and see how to stop Roethlisberger from scoring. <laughs> Apparently kicking and screaming isn't working anymore. <laughs> Nobody is happier that Green Bay won than the good folks at Disney, right? Because they sidestepped that awkward moment at the end of the game where they would have had to say, Ben Roethlisberger, you just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do? <laughs> not according to Megan's Law, you're not. Can't do it. Valentine's Day is over, thank God. I'm terrible at relationships. This is the only head I've ever gotten. And I got it from my mom. My friend asked me earlier this week, he said, uh, where's the worst place to go on a first date? I said, uh, I don't know, in your pants? <laughs> I don't care much for Valentine's Day, it's uh, probably my least favorite holiday. I'm more of a Halloween kind of guy. Thank you. Although this Halloween didn't go so well for me, because uh, the kids asked, they were like, what's Halloween for? And I was like, well, it's uh, mommy's last chance to dress like a whore before she gains winter weight. <laughs> I wrote it on the calendar. <laughs> I made a New Year's resolution this year to stop describing things as retarded. That's offensive to some people. Right, sir? <laughs> but then I thought, you know, well, where do you draw the line? You know, because describing something as crazy has to be offensive to women. <laughs> the more I thought about it, you know, the more everything seems offensive. You know, like, is it okay to say that I'm taking out the trash? Should I say that I'm taking out the cast from Jersey Shore? <laughs> That's interchangeable, right? <laughs> I was talking to my cousin the other day, and she said, uh, I wish I lived in California. And I said, why? She said, because they only have to work a five-hour workday. I said, why would you think that? She said, because they're three hours behind us. <laughs> True story, by the way. You're laughing because she's seven, but she's 22, and that's cause for concern. True story. Anyone here like magic? Well, this probably isn't the show for you. I don't do magic. I once made a baby disappear, but it cost me 700 bucks. <laughs> that trick had everything. The parents were pissed. They were like, uh, where's our baby? And I was like, ta-da! <laughs> the moral of the story, though, is that they got her back. You know, because that's the polite thing to do. Once they pay the ransom. <laughs> Sure, it smells like an abortion joke, but it's a kidnapping joke, and that's completely different. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all the time I have tonight, folks. It's going to be great.